He got in regards to Alachot of Rekan and Tafel, so he brings them. Yerakot mi mulaim be orez o be basar. He gone ale gefanim. He says you have vegetables that are filled with rice or meat. And the first example he brings down is like yabra. Ale gefanim, made of the leaves of grapes, grape leaves. O hatzilim, o batzal, o keruv. They make all kinds of stuff. Stuffed uh, cabbage, stuffed onions, whatever it is, doesn't make a difference. Whichever it is, any of these cases where you're stuffing some kind of vegetable and inside you're putting meat, rice, maybe both. The halakha is, You go after what's, being, what's inside the stuffing. We don't go on the outside shell. It's not the kusa or the yabra, whatever it is that's on the outside that we make the beracha. Rather, we make the beracha on the inside. Why? Shehare be'ayne b'nei adam ikar achilatam hi alat echom mashabetocham. The main reason why people are eating the food is to eat what's inside because that's usually what's filling. That's usually what's enjoyable. Again, the outside gives a taste. It's not that we don't want the outside. If we want the outside, but the inside is the ikar, that's the main. That's considered the ikar. However, sometimes you'll see stuffed chicken where they have pockets, they take meat, and they stuff inside of it some kind of rice. Over there, you have already, but that, the outside shell is not anymore tafir. The outside is the ikar. The chicken that's outside is better, much better than the stuffing. The stuffing is only they're putting it in to give a taste. But the chicken is the ikar for sure, or the case of the pockets, where they're taking very expensive meat and they're stuffing it with a little uh, rice. The ikar is definitely the outside. The stuffing is only tafel, like a bit of stuffing in that case. But that you make the beracha on the outside, which would be the meat, or the chicken, and you wouldn't make the beracha on the stuffing, which would be the rice. However, he brings down, mikol makom. There are people that think otherwise. He says there are people that believe that it's not true. The ikar is really the outside, not the inside. All this depends on what I'm thinking, what I want. So it's not a universal, everybody has to be this way. There are people that would think, you know what, I really like the outside way better. I don't even want the inside. Some people even throw it throw out the inside. They don't want to eat it. In that case, for them, the ikar would be the outside. So therefore, lachen, kedeh laset yedeh ha-safek, to get out of all problems. So this way, you're not in safek, berachaz bezorod, berachaz adama, I don't know what to do. Therefore, nachon shi yafridem ze mizeh, separate them. Put the adama on the side, put the mezorot on one side, now make a beracha adama, make a beracha mezorot, and then eat it regular. Then it's not a problem, then you can eat it all together, it's not a problem. He says, this is the correct way if you want to get out of all sefekot. Again, so if one wants to eat it together, according to most people, definitely make mezono. However, if you want to get out of all sefekot, separate them into two parts, or if you definitely have other foods, usually most people are not eating yabra or things like that by itself. Usually they have a salad, they have uh, other uh, vegetables, they have other things. So make a mezono on the rice, make a adama on the salad, now you yotzeh the chude alma. Everyone agrees. Now you yotzeh. Eat whatever you want, and definitely you take you take yourself out of all sefikot. Yeah,